Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager. Back in Tarvin, everything is not going particularly well. I mean, in terms of bank accountage, £492,000 in the bank with no loans. That is absolutely exceptional. The problem is, obviously it's the City, yeah, city Festival at the moment. It is quite busy in the old service centre. Uh, we are struggling to get the waiting time down. We've got a 100 minute waiting time. It has been up at 120 minutes at the end of the last episode. It's uh, it's absolutely insane what's going on at the moment. I mean, people are complaining about too high volumes of passengers in the bus. There's people that have come in not to buy a ticket. They've literally just come in to complain. You think, why would you do that? There's, there's so many people that are queuing here. Still back up at 110 minutes. It's not great, is it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to work at taking i'm going to take these out there we go right take all of that out i'm not bothered about those plant pots get rid of them and the bin we're going to shove more desks on because we just need to get it sorted don't we i want all these people to actually manage to buy their tickets right hang on Let's shove that there we'll put a tinted door on one end we've got so many desks now I'm going to go in and hire more service employees. One, two, three, four. How many have we got? 34. Wow. One, two, three, four. So that'll be 38. Just hire another two. One, two. There we go. Right, everybody on there. 40 people working in our uh, our service centre. That's insane. 130 minutes. I just saw it up at that. That's not good. That's really not good. I mean, we've nearly got enough money to buy a load more Enviro 400s for Liverpool, haven't we? Because at the moment, Liverpool, I mean, to be fair, we can just do it now, can't we? Bus fleet, marketplace, right, buy a new bus, have a load more of them. Uh, right, hang on, how many can we have? Five, we can have nine, we could nearly have ten. We'll buy nine. Uh, EB 552D, lovely, put the white roof on. Look at that, they're all here. Splendid. Oh, sensational. Right, nip back to Tarvin. Because obviously Liverpool, uh, in the last episode, we did put in the new 137 route, which is working an absolute treat. The 136, also very, very busy there. Uh, the 137. Uh, it's 1800, isn't it? So it's, uh, it's practically tea time. Right, let's, uh, let's see. Can we close the travel centre? To stop more people coming in? We can't. That's really annoying. You should be able to stop more people coming in so that we can serve these. Because, I mean, at 8 o'clock, do they all just go home and we kick everybody out? You know, all these people that want to buy tickets and make our company money. We're not going to be able to. Hang on. Right. Can we change that? Right. That's going to stay open as long as it takes. 11 o'clock, we're going to get through everybody. There's just so many people coming. So many people. What we need to do as well, staff settings... Work schedule. Right, hang on. Oh, I guess these guys all stay here as long as the service centre is open. I mean, it's going to quieten off as the evening goes, and then as soon as that goes to, like, ten minutes, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll close. Pulling an extra shift. I hope I'm paying you all time and a half. Double time, even, for, uh, for dealing with all this nonsense. See, it's one of those, we're watching all these people flying in and out. Let's just double check, have we got uh, any broken buses while we're here that we can be taking care of? Uh, yes, I've already set a lot of them to repair. That's been driven to the workshop. You've been driven on a shift. Eclipse 1 there needs its oil doing. Eclipse 1 needs its oil doing. And this is already having its light replaced. So yeah, um, oh god, 70 minutes. An hour is still ridiculous, isn't it? The willingness of the uh, the population to use public transport, though, hasn't gone down. Right, so Tarvin is fine, Runcorn is fine, Wrexham is fine. I think I've done them all, haven't I? Right, this depot. Right, we don't have enough bus drivers in Liverpool. Let's just nip to Liverpool depot. Good news is, when you're hiring bus drivers at external depots, you don't have to worry about having lockers for them. It's, uh, it's an absolute treat. Right, where are we? Bus fleet? Nope. Shift schedule. For Liverpool depot tomorrow morning. Right, there we go. This depot. Assign all the buses. Plenty of buses have to buy 9 Enviro 400 MMCs. Look at that. 20 minutes. We've nearly done it, people. Nearly done it. What we are going to do, so that there's not as many people walking around, 
We'll, uh, we'll put a row of armchairs up there, row down there. There we go. Obviously, we've got a couple of uh, bit of space here. We'll put three in there. Two round there. There we go. You can sit down there. Look at that. We've completed 11 repairs and maintenances. In terms of research, I think we've more or less done everything, haven't we? Yeah. That'll do. Carry 361,000 passengers. Well, I'm not being funny. That's not going to be difficult, is it? Right. This is finished now. Closed. Go home, everybody. Go on. You've done for the day. You've worked really, really hard. I should really give you all a holiday, but we've got to do it all again tomorrow. See, I don't know that... I mean, when I closed it, that guy still came in and bought the ticket, didn't he? So maybe if we'd have closed it at 8 o'clock, maybe it just stops admissions then. I just didn't want it to kick everybody out and say, yeah, sorry, close now. But it meant we served a few more passengers. We served a few more customers, didn't we? Right, let's have a look. Any more broken buses? Are you being fixed yet? No. Right, get your oil done. You're having your oil done when you get back. You're having your oil done as well. Everyone's behaving themselves. It makes a nice change, doesn't it? Got to complete a load of tours successfully. Problem is, is I've put this new 137 on. It's every 20 minutes is, uh, is this particular route. In an evening and on Sundays every half an hour. I am a little bit worried. After the city festival, this is just going to, you know, it'll sort of... The rear end will fall out of this route and uh, and there'll be nobody on it. I mean, if that is the case, we can always just relocate or reallocate some single deckers to it. Right, we'll go through. Just make sure everyone's fixed. That's good. Why is this blue? There we go. Why are you green? As you can tell, I uh, I pay a lot of attention to our fleet. And you, do I have a livery for you? I think I do. There we go. Oh, what's this on the end? An MMC? Paint you. Have I got a livery? No, I haven't. Right, okay. Well, you can be EB55, 2D, and white roof. Right, I think that's everybody. Not all passengers. Oh. A penalty of 424. We only got 22,000. Right, okay. I can I can live with that. I'm not going to lose too much sleep over that. Right, that's good. Wrexham Depot. Right, Optair Solo needs fixing. Wow. He's had a bit of a bump, that lad, hasn't he? Apart from that, everyone seems to be... What have we got here? What's this? This is a pulser. Why is it not in the corporate livery? We'll, uh, we'll do a bit of that. Enviro 300. Also not in the corporate livery. We'll, uh, we'll go through. Tend to the fleet. CG Skins, of course, does work very hard for us, so it's only fair to uh, to actually use the uh, the liveries that he provides. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. Have a screenshot. That can be the cover photo. For I don't, I don't forget and use something else. Liverpool Depot. Right, these buses are getting absolutely hammered, aren't they? What do you need? Lights. That'll do. You're a 10.3 metre, so you can actually be painted in the corporate livery. 10.3 metre. 10.3. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Starting to look really good at Liverpool. That's 10.9, so we can't do anything with them presently. Oh, 10.3. We've got them in the livery already. Haven't got that one, though. That's a 10.9. That's why. Oh, Ingo Scott at Liverpool is ill. Oh, no. That's no good. Right, today. I'll just reassign all the bus drivers. That'll do. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit intrigued what's going to happen with this travel centre. I mean, to be fair, it's not particularly fit for purpose anymore. I would like to redesign it completely. In fact, what am I on about? I could do this. Right, there we go. Delete all of this. Let's 
So we'll just have one little booth in the middle. Oh, the window's out there so people can look at the buses. Get rid of all of this nonsense. Yep, all of it. Gone. Plant pots. The works. That's going to leave a... Uh, I realise I've only just put this in. But never mind. Yep, delete the whole lot. Oh, I appear to have deleted part of the travel centre. Never mind. Right. Travel centre. There we go. Get rid of that bin in the corner. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Delete the whole lot. Right, delete all of this. It's probably cheaper to just move everything one by one, but uh, but we'll do that. Right, we need to put that little bit of service centre back in. Yes, I know we don't have one standing desk. I know, I know, I know. We will in a minute. We're getting the, uh, the starting. Starting achievements back up, aren't we? Right, this lot can move. There we go, right. Where can we stick you? You can go over there. That can be part of the service centre as well. So we will have... I mean, where are we going to... Right, we'll have a couple of... How many desks did we end up having? Right, get rid of that plant. It's, uh, it's ruining my... Uh, Ruining my vibes. There we go. Right, that's gone. Service desk. Rotate that. How many is that? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sensational. Right, that is the optimum amount, I feel. Right, we'll get a bit of a bit of wall built there and there, and then down at this end. Lovely. Do we want more service desks down here? I think we will have more. There we go. We'll go the whole hog. I realise I've deleted a load from there. This wasn't quite what I had in mind, but to be fair, this is going to work really well, isn't it? Right. Add you on there, put a door on. Tinted door, tinted door, tinted door, and tinted door on there as well. So we've got, how many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. That'll do. Right, we'll close these. Because we don't need them just yet. We'll we'll leave them on. Service centre chairs. There we go. Plenty of room for people to sit down. Them again. There we go. Chairs. Keep it quite open plan. So there's you know there's not too much. That's quite good. I like that. Right, let's put some plants in. Just to sort of spruce the place up a little bit. A plant down there. Another one there. Lovely. Oh, what a nice place to be. Right, any more broken buses? Wow. Where have these all come from? Right, get the oil sorted. The Evora brake pads. Evora indicator. Did I buy those Evoras at the same time? How come one of the brake pads are knackered and the other one isn't? How bizarre. Right, brake pads again. Clips one. Let's get that indicator sorted. That will do. Can't believe I've still not painted that ALX. I thought I painted that in the last episode. Or the episode before that. Oh, I can't remember. Don't time fly when you're enjoying yourself. Mm 
Right. See, I'd like to see what's happening with the old... Uh, I mean, it's City Festival, isn't it? This can open from six. They're going to be livid, aren't they, these people? But we'll open it from six so that people can start coming in. I mean, we could actually leave this as 24 hours, but our service employees will have a fit, won't they? If we do that. I'll tell you what, because it's not going to be that busy early on, I'm going to close this, these desks here. And then we can always just open them up. We'll use these desks to start with. How many service employees have we got? 40. That should be fine. Are they all happy? No, they're all really stressed. I mean, to be fair, we're not that bothered, are we? If, uh, you know, they said that if they're stressed, they're going to be rude to the passengers. We're not that bothered about them being rude to the passengers. At the end of the day, the passenger wants a ticket. We will sell them a ticket. There's no need to be too nice to people. They'll, uh, they'll get the wrong idea. Still at 65%, which is really, really good. I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Right, hang on. 6am. Is that too early? Yeah, it's a bit early. Let's go 5am. Make it even earlier. Get the uh, service employees in. There we go. Come on, in you come. Oh, travel centre's open. Let's, uh, let's get behind those desks and prepare for... Uh, is anyone coming in? People are coming in. I mean, they're coming in. Nobody's coming in to buy a ticket, like. But uh, there we go. Right, these desks are all full. We'll go back 8 a.m., 8 p.m. from, uh, look at that, nobody's, nobody's here just yet. Oh, wow, a person's come for information. All right, tell you what, we'll, we'll close these desks. You go sit down, make yourself comfortable. We'll just have one set of desks open. we can deal with this and then the uh, the service center employees can be nice and chilled out can't they Astrid Seidel does that why is that why is the stress going up they're resting Let's see what's uh, what's Gav on now Gab's an expert. We'll make that up to £15 an hour. Tell you what, we'll make it up to £20 an hour for anyone that's expert. There we go. Gav, you've had a pay rise, love. Can you just get them stress levels down a little bit, please? Well, everybody's had a pay rise, haven't they, that works in the service centre. Look at that, they're all a lot more satisfied. I mean, they're all stressed, but... Once you're an expert, £20 an hour, that's insane. Right, the Mayor is calling. Oh, Climate Action Day, fantastic. I'm really excited for it, Mr Mayor. Or Mrs Mayor. Or Ms Mayor. Ms Mayor sounds a little bit like despair, doesn't it? Right, 25 minutes, let's get these desks open. Come on, everybody. Showtime. See if we can... You see, from 8 o'clock, everyone's just <laughs> arrived, haven't they? So we may as well just leave it at 8 o'clock anyway. Where have all our service employees gone? There we go. Come on. 35 minutes. Right. Let's just get them all open. Bang them all open. We've got lots of people waiting. Everybody to the, uh, to the, to the desks. Serve it back up at 35 minutes. This should be fine when people have finished resting, you know, just when you can be bothered. It's back down to 25 minutes, 15 minutes. That'll do. We're going to have a lot of people in and out of this travel centre today, aren't we? But we're selling tickets, we're making money, that's excellent. That will do, I'm happy with that. Climate Action Day is Monday, so we've got until Monday to buy a load of electric buses. What I would like to do, if we go to Liverpool, that depot is actually really posh, isn't it? If we go to Wrexham, this depot is sort of on its, uh, on its arse a little bit, so what we're going to do... We're going to upgrade it to the latest, in, uh, and the same again for Runcorn. Still don't really know what upgrading the depot does, but maybe the uh, maybe people are happier. Spent a lot of our money on that, but we've upgraded it. It looks awesome. What would I like to do next? I mean, for Tarvin, I would like to still get a depot in Warrington. 
I mean, Warrington's sort of over here, isn't it? We haven't got anywhere near Warrington other than, I mean, there's Runcorn, isn't there? But Warrington, you know, we've got quite a lot in terms of shuttle buses we could do for the coverage side of things. I don't just want to run it all out of Runcorn. It's, uh, it would work better if we did that. Wow, look at that. We've actually got it back down to zero on the travel centre. Hopefully people aren't too stressed. I don't really get how the stress mechanic works in this game. I mean, the stress increases, but they... You see, do you just have to send them on vacation? Is that it? Uh, right. Fuel has increased. Good heavens. That's one of them, innit? We've got to pay it. Do, 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 do. I do love the plinky plonky music of this game. You're probably all sick of hearing it and wish that I'd uh, download something from Epidemic Sounds and have that bopping away in the background. But uh, it has to be said, I, I do love this music on this game. Hmm. Well, it's working. See, these should not be stressed now. This should be calming down. Sophia Summer, Summer is, uh, is happy. There we go. You can, um, if you're advanced, you can be on 18 quid an hour. How's that? Some of the best paid in the business. Our, uh, our service employees, aren't they? Look at that. Some right traffic through here. Thing is, is obviously, I mean, what, what have we got here? Right. Service employees. A lot of stressed people. Adam Taylor, you see these are all stressed, aren't they? Right, what we'll do, can we sort by stress? Right, see these are, these are my experts though, I can't send all these on holiday. I've we'll nobody left. That's not what you need, is it? It's gone a little bit quiet, unknown. I want to buy a solo. No, you can't. I I need this solo. I need to buy a bit more Wi-Fi. It's all gone. I'll tell you what we are going to do with our money. While we've got it, we're going to go for... Because uh, how much electricity are we actually... Yeah, you see, daily production production yeah yesterday we had to buy a lot more so what we could do is get a few more a few more doodars in there we go photovoltaic panels put a strip of them down there there we go another strip of them just keep it coming. Keep them there. Be producing a bit more lecky. We're not going to fit you down there, are we? But we could fit another row of them down here. Nah, we won't bother with that. That's uh, can be considered a little bit too much, can't it? I mean, we can use these photovoltaic panels over the top. Can't click and drag with them, no? Put them down there. Because then if we can make more money through selling the electric back to them. Right, what's happening with the uh, current production? A lot more. So why are we still buying? Don't want to buy that. Sell more back to them, please. So if daily production will be more than sold. There we go. We're selling. We're selling. That's good. Good. Right, let's have a look. Any broken buses? Wow, how do they break them all? I don't understand it. It's breaking so fast. Right, brake pads. Yeah, that's good. Get these fixed on the go. Olympus. Yeah, brake pads. Go, go, go. Oil. What else have we got? Indicators. Eclipse ones. Oh, these Eclipse ones are all smashed in bits, aren't they? And again, oil. Fantastic. Right, what we do need? Replacement parts. Let's get more oil canisters can't buy that. We do not have enough money. Oh, the humanity. Right, how much is this going to cost? That'll do. Oh, not the research. Replacement parts. And again. 
There we go. Right, everybody get these inside. Complete 12 repairs and maintenance. Oh, well, we'll be able to do that in a hurry. Uh, that's not going to be difficult, is it? Event in the city is nearly over. So we'll, uh, I mean, all our buses do seem to have coped reasonably well, actually. You've got the odd full and standing vehicle. I'm not actually looked down at Chester. I mean, that'll be not as bad as I thought it would, to be honest with you. We've got a nice frequent service in and around Chester. This is coping a lot better than yesterday, so we'll uh, we'll keep this open a little bit later with it being the event in the city. Oops. Just in case anybody wants to, because I mean we can always close down a row. There we go. I'll tell you what, we'll we'll close down, close down these. Is that going to become unbearably busy then if we do that? Because then we can have some employees just sat resting. I mean, hopefully if they, there you go. Raritron is resting. Stress levels going down. And now it's gone back into the service centre. I don't get why they don't sit out there a bit longer. Going to the toilet. See, that it's fine. Yeah, I don't get why they don't sit there longer until the stress levels have completely gone down. Oh, hang on. 15 minutes. Right. Let's, uh, let's get three desks open. Another three, yeah. Oh, 25 minutes, right, okay. Get them all back open. Does take a little while. It's not like at Aldi, is it, when they uh, when they need to open a new cashier? It's, uh, yeah. It's quick, isn't it? Right, I've forgotten to repair that, obviously. Uh, right, oil. Who else needs their oil doing? The Omni City. That's got oil, that's good. LX400 needs his wiper doing. Another eclipse. Uh, yeah, well, that wasn't Enviro, but the eclipses still need doing as well. They're all uh, they're under instruction to have that done ASAP. You know, it's how everyone comes from the same way. Nobody walks down here, do they? Just a little thing I've noticed there. It's like uh, the parking. Parking Tycoon Business Simulator. Right. There we go. Just close that. You can all go home. You've earned a, uh, earned a rest. Right. Okay. So. In terms of staff. Sort it by stress. Holiday. Holiday. You can all go on holiday. Your stress, Ian Jackson. Right. There we go. We'll send... 20 of them on holiday. Yeah. There we go. Send them all on holiday. They've worked hard over this city festival. As for the bus drivers, sorry, we uh, we actually need you to run the service. I, I can't send you on holiday, but... Uh, right, Leo Thompson. Go on. Off you pop. In fact, do you know what? We could. Let's have a look. So tomorrow is, of course, Saturday, so we'll be running less of a service. Let's go to our staff. Bus drivers. Freddy DB is the most stressed. Already on an assigned shift. Going to the toilet. They're all driving buses. Lovely. So shift schedule for tomorrow, assign that to all depots, and assign buses to all depots. It seems to have, look at that, it's just worked. That'll do. So who have we got now? If we're going to the staff side of things, uh, right, hang on, my buses, no, that is the, that's not the staff. Right, stressed, checks bus, go on holiday. Going to the toilet, Stacey Woods, on holiday, my dear. Mechanic. Oh, hang on, this isn't right. I'm sending sending people. Right. You've got a shift. That's fine. You've all got shift. See, right. There we go. Lee Allen. Already got an assigned shift. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, that's fine. J 
Jan hasn't, so Jan can go on holiday. Goes home, right, MGZ's holiday. Ah, right, on holiday, right, I'm not looking at the next shift, right, hang on. Today, right, hang on, tomorrow. There we go, the staff situation is taken care of. I reckon the only people that aren't stressed will be the uh, the researchers because they don't flipping do anything. There we go. Look, Fred Hall having a whale of a time. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Uh, that will be... No, it won't. I tell a lie to you. We've got one more episode of Tarvin that I'll have recorded in advance. That'll be... Uh, That'll be next week, and then we'll be back to normal service. So, yeah, thank you for bearing with me. It's been great to have you here. If you've enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. Always appreciate it by myself. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future episodes. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.